you support that I am a five years old child. <laughs> Using an uh, easy word, uh, speaking so slowly, so please. Okay. Um, I, so, when you first started making music, what, what made you interested in using uh, traditional Japanese style mm -hmm. music uh, combined with electronic music? Yes, uh, when I, I was a child, I'm so interested in Japanese traditional music, but uh, I can't uh, say to my friends because of most Japanese doesn't be interested in Japanese traditional songs. So I just try to combine them uh, with electronic beat since 2000 or 2001. Uh, do you think do you think that that, that style of Japanese music uh, is more popular in other countries like the United States? Do you think that the audiences uh, yes. enjoy it more than in Japan? Mm. Japan? Yes, I hope so because uh, the many of people in the US haven't heard yet the Japanese traditional song, so uh, I hope uh, they could be interest in Japanese traditional music or Japanese traditional style yeah, of uh, kind of uh, tone, tone uh, that, that kind, of, kind of sound. I also noticed uh, that your performances are very uh, you're very honest about what you're doing uh, to the audience so you show everything that you're doing. Uh, what, made, what made you decide to, to perform in that way? Uh, so you describe honest. Uh, so I'm not feeling uh, I'm honest, but uh, I'd like to show how I play instruments, uh, uh, how I play mobile game console as in instruments. Without that, the audience may not understand what I am doing. So I began to explain my freaking member as uh, my mobile games as a freaking member. Mm -hmm. uh, and also. Uh the, the visuals are also a very large part of the performance. Uh, what, what made you decide to uh, sort of approach everything as a sort of a large audio-visual experience in total? At first, Omodaka began as a project that combines music and videos. And at, that was, that starts in 2000. Or 2001. At first, I I asked to make a music video uh, to different directors uh, with my uh, song, and they made the videos. And that then I, I felt that was complete. But um, one day, uh, a person who was uh, organizing a uh, Japanese band Sura in US uh, asked me uh, how do you like to play in US so I decided to my performance at Omodaka with my singing flat screen is, is the on the screen is that uh, is that friend of yours or uh, that, that uh, you mean that singer yeah that singer is a uh, real singer that uh, she sang, she, she is singing the Modaka's song. Uh -huh. is she, is she, uh, how did you meet her? Uh, uh, at first, uh, we, we met uh, at a, a kind of project, uh, Japanese traditional music in uh, house beat, when uh, 1990. And and that time, that was so, so short time project. 
that ends so one or two years after uh, the project has finished. That was um, nine or ten years past. And I one day I asked her to sing again for my own project that um, confused Confusion, confused and the music and video. No confusion. Um, what I'm, I'm kind of interested uh, to wrap up. Uh, I'm kind of interested what attracted you to the sounds of video games and the sounds of the sound chips inside of video games in the first place. Uh, like what, I, I, what did you like? What, did, what do you like about the video sounds of video games uh, that made you want to use them? Uh, so seven or eight years ago, I had a y YMCK Japanese band, and I was shocked, and, and I experienced the mo many of Japanese chip tune artists. So I began to uh, put the lip tone to my to my song. So that, that's um, Main because you saw YMCK. YMCK. Yeah. They're a good band. Yeah. <laughs> They're very <Yes>. good. <laughs> You're good. Too. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.